The create mod is great for making amusement rides in Minecraft. Last week I made a cursed spinning duck ride in 20 minutes. But today I'm taking it one step further. I'm starting my very own amusement park in Minecraft. In today's episode, I'm building a spinning teacup ride with my friend Jojo. And after that, I'm building my biggest and most challenging create mod ride yet. A fully working log flume ride. Okay, Jojo, an amusement park with the create mod. Yes. All right, so the first thing uh, we'll build is uh, the teacups. Do you know the teacups? I, I mean, it doesn't have to be teacups, but the only ones I've been on have been spinning teacups. Yeah. This is going to be really simple. All we need is a create motor to make it spin we need a mechanical bearing then we build the yes. platform that's gonna spin on top of this mechanical bearing and then we place mechanical bearings in the platform to make the teacups not spin with the thing yeah let's do it jojo this does not look like a teacup at all nope. <laughs> Wait, okay, what, 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 what if we do something else? I say uh, we do spinning blocks. See, the kids, they love the blocks. Ooh, I want to go on the grass block, Mom. I want to go on the the furnace. The <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job, good job. I like this. See, th th this is this is cool. All right, let's test it out. Will it spin? Okay, here we go. Yeah, it actually. Oh my. Okay, the bedrock is an immovable block. We should have. Yeah. <laughs> While Jojo left to do adult things, I finished up the ride and also made it all automatic. It's not that complicated or hard. It just took a very long time to do. And so, if you head into this room here, this is where you start the ride. But if you go down here, there is a corridor that leads to the machine room, uh, which is right here. So this thing controls the entire ride. When I press the start button, this activates and then it starts it off by uh, removing the brakes. And then this thing opens up the door to exit when it's done and blah, 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 blah. This changes the speed. There's a lot of things going on here, but it's now completely automatic. So if we head out and press the button, it should start very soon. I see door closes and it starts spinning. So it's now at speed one. It's going to go to speed two now. Yeah, there we go. And speed three is going to happen. There we go. And then this one opens up for prematurely, but that's okay. Because this thing is going to stop very soon. There we go. And now you can head out through the exit. And then after, I think, like 12, 13 seconds, the exit is going to close. And you can start up the ride again. You have to wait for this one to close or break stuff. There we go, and now it's ready to go again, and I just press the button and it'll go. Nice. And it's time to move on to the next ride, which is gonna be the coolest one out of them all, I think. The Log Flume Ride, and I'm very excited about this one. Okay, so underground, we would have rails. Then we'd have a card assembler with a minecart in it. So a couple blocks up, and then we'd have the the log itself. I don't know, I'm just, I'm just building something now. Okay, there we go. And then we'll have some seats inside of this thing. And boom. So ground level will be like here. And then there will be water uh, running here. And then, this is so cool. When we make this minecart move, the entire log flume is going to move. There we go. And that means we can make it look like a boat floating in the water, even though it's, it's not. And so if we place another torch here... Boom. Look at it go. That is going to be so cool. But it's also probably going to take some time. I really have to think this one through because it's going to be quite a big build. I have to make a mountain for it to go up and then go down from. And uh. But I'm going to start off by making a little station place where you can jump in. And then I'm going to work my way from that. So right now, I'm building the floor of the track. So the rail that controls the logs will be running underneath this. I constantly had to keep that in mind so that the railroad underneath wouldn't cross the floor of the track at any point, while also keeping in mind that I'll have to build an entire mountain around it afterwards. After making the first part of the ride, I started looking at terraforming the area because of the, you know, mountain part. And while I'm building away in the background, I'd like to mention that I am partnered with Apex Gaming PCs. Together, we put together a Shouts PC line, and it's really, really cool. You should definitely check them out in the link in the description. And if you're buying one, use code Shouts for a discount. After we finished the entire track, it was time to test it out with a log. So I built one, hopped on, and started it up. It all went smoothly until I reached the first drop. The 
back minecart got stuck in the air somehow, but after breaking some blocks, pushing it around, pushing it around, pushing it around, and breaking some more blocks, I got it on the track again. I sent out seven logs to the track and let them go around for an hour to make sure that it did not break at all. The test was successful and I started working on finishing the mountain, adding water, adding details, and after two more days of building, I am proud to present you this. All right, it is not 100% finished, but it's 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 getting there. It's like 95%. This is what it looks like, and I, I just think it's so cool. So there are two drops, one there, the smaller one, and the bigger one over there. And if we're lucky, we should see some... Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that. I mean, it's kind of wonky the way it turns, but still, it still looks so cool. My, my personal favorite is when they go out of this cave, because you see them come out there, and then, oh, look... And then you see them through the cave when they get down. That's Oh, there's so much stuff happening. Let's get on this one. All right. Let's see if it opens up. Ah, oh, there we go. And then we just pop over and have a seat. There's like a small story in the ride. So uh, I'm just going to let you enjoy it and I'll be quiet. Subscribe. Please, please subscribe. This took a very long time. kicked out. Uh, ignore that. Sometimes it kicks you out when you're in the front seat at the first drop. I've tried to fix it, but I, I literally cannot. But yeah, the, st the little, little story I made in the ride is uh, you follow this person here. Starts off in a cave with a campfire, gets an enchanting table, starts making progress, builds a house, which is going to light up as soon as this one. But there we go. Builds a house, kills the dragon, and is still alone in the end. Poor, poor, poor. Oh, poor you. But as I said, it's not 100% finished yet. <laughs> and if we go to this side, you can see why. <laughs> uh, so if you want to see uh, part two, where we make uh, another ride, maybe a full on roller coaster or whatever, like the video. If we get 50 likes, te maybe 10. If we get 10 likes, episode two will happen. Also subscribe because this took all my time and I think you should subscribe because you should subscribe. And I think subscribing is good. And if you subscribe too much, you can press your...